It's a rock musical that forever changed the landscape of American theater when it first hit the stage two decades ago, and this week we're celebrating. That's right. It's the it's Rent's 20th anniversary tour presented by the FSCJ Artist Series, and today we have two of the actors in the studio. Welcome to First Coast Living. Good to see you. Hey, thank you, thank you so us. much for having us. <laughs> Introduce yourselves and tell folks who you play. I'm, uh, a <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ayanna Smash. I play Mimi Marquez. Uh, I'm Coleman Cummings. I play Roger Davis. Oh, and, nice. and for those who have lived under a rock for 20 years um, and don't know the, one of the greatest musicals of all time, Rent, uh, give a little synopsis. Uh, Rent is a, a now a period piece set in the 90s, um, and it follows a group of eight different uh, struggling artists following their dreams in New York City and dealing with everything that life's throwing at them, AIDS, um, love, loss. Yeah. Um, not yeah. paying rent. Not paying yeah, right. rent. Not paying rent. Not paying rent. Not yeah. 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 All right. So, how long have you guys uh, been on the road so far? Five months so far. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Five months. And how much longer do you got to go? Uh, about. Four. We're about halfway through. Yeah. We'll be finished in May. Months, All right. Months. So you had a show last night. How'd that go? Pretty good. Pretty good. Felt a little weird being back. We just came off of a break, but it was pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you guys had it. I guess, I guess it's kind of like the back to school, uh, back yeah. to play, <laughs> back yeah, to basically. play break. It yeah. was exciting though. It was fun to be back. We mm -hmm. had uh, two weeks off before, so. Yeah. For you, for you as actors, again, an iconic, uh, iconic roles you both play, and an iconic uh, play, lead in your careers. Was this one that you know that you have bullet you have on the bulletin board? Like, I'm going to get to this one. Is this one yeah. of those that you were like? Was this on the vision yeah. board? <laughs> yeah. I mean, for me, I knew about Rent when I was in high school, and I actually auditioned for like my high school's choir with one of the songs that I'm singing oh, that's in awesome. this show, that's and so cool. like. When I went to the audition and kept getting called back, it was like, oh my God, this is this actually could be happening for me. <laughs> and this is definitely like the biggest thing that I've done in one of my dream roles for a long time. That's awesome. Amazing. Yeah. You can see it on your face, man. That's really, <laughs> cool. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I found out about the show in college, actually. I wasn't a big musical theater person, to be honest. I had just started um, turning into a... I started taking a musical theater course in um, the Institute for American Musical Theater. And so I started being exposed to uh, different shows, and this was one of them. And I learned how iconic it was. And so yeah. I was like, I actually want to be a part of this show and this message. And I didn't know who I wanted to play. I originally went in for Joanne, yeah. actually, and then I ended up getting hired as Mimi. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So what was the audition process like? I'm always curious about that part of it. <laughs> um, very nerve-wracking, yeah. in my opinion. I mean, it's super intense. The competition is like so thick, and the initial call is like lines of oh hundreds God. of people, and you wait and you get in the room for like thirty seconds. Gosh, and I you cannot imagine just sitting well. there and you're like looking, looking at your competition. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's yeah. it's really crazy. And then as after the the initial call, they'll call some people back in, and then like every time you get called in, there's less and less people. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you hope you're the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. So having done uh, five months on the road, and then obviously you both have done other other theater. Um, do you are you are you still in the mode of embracing the new cities as you get to them, or is or what do you prefer? I love embracing the new cities. Yeah, yeah. I think it's always fun and important to um, kind of explore and see what the city has to offer, yeah. especially when. We just have the show at night. We don't have anything going on right. in the early in the day. It's mm -hmm. like might as well go yeah. and explore. But a Broadway bit. is Broadway still on the vision vision board? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah New York City goal. would be the goal. That's staying there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're playing these characters. I mean, day in and day out for this, such a long period of time. Do you feel like you eventually take a piece of them with you, like outside of the, the theater sometimes? Yes. Yeah. 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 I feel yeah, yeah, like yeah. I've definitely learned a lot from mm -hmm. playing Roger yeah. over and over. And there's like so many <laughs> layers and so many things you continue to discover like as you keep playing the role and learning. They are timeless. Yeah. It's a timeless role. And it's crazy to hear you say it's a period piece. Right. No. Yeah. 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 It's a period piece. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's nuts. Oh, cool. Well, we're so glad that you guys were able to stop by. And uh, make sure you check this out on our website, firstcoastliving.net. We got all the information and showtimes for you right there.